So this is the orange trail, not the blue trail that we've been on in previous videos. So this is really cool. It's a nice wide trail. <clears throat> Obviously I had a lot of horses come through this weekend. peaceful out here. A little muddy there. Just kind of give you all a look. <clears throat> Horse apples. Ooh. It's the only downside to walking on these trails. You gotta really watch where you're stepping. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a rock wall built up, but I think that's more modern. It's used to uh, keep the trail right there from washing out. There's a couple of uh, spots where they're definitely sort of trying to, the runoff comes right down through there. And I think they're just trying to break it all up with these rocks, but it's free. Pretty awesome. Check that out. That's a funky old tree. <laughs> That's a good place to sit and take a nap. Yeah, if I had to guess, this was built up by the parks department. Because, like I said, you can see it's kind of that modern way of breaking up water so it doesn't wash something away. Well, it's probably not modern, but you know, you see it today on highways and stuff. A lot of nice old trees out here. Yeah, this is a cool trail. Glad I decided to go this way. Not gonna find any cool colonial roads out on this side, but still pretty cool. like the trails converge again. Oh man, it's really muddy. It's gonna be fun climbing back up that muddy hill. No, I don't know where I am. There's not a red dot. 
actually right here so i scratched it in so i parked here walked down here checked out the cemetery went down this way a bit decided to come back came back up this way and now i'm here i want to go a little ways more and then then i'm going to need to head out because uh i got a late start this morning and i'm going to have to pick up my daughter show y'all something right quick the uh battlefield is right here so here's the visitor center the old colonial road we found comes in on the park road and then it came around the back side and it comes like basically off right through here so when we were parking here again we came down through here and found that colonial road with the bridge crosses somewhere right in here so that's pretty cool I'm about to lose my hat sorry but anyway give you a little bit better idea of what we we're looking at so yeah that colonial road's the same one that the uh, British marched in on and then the um, over mountain men or the Patriots marched in behind them a couple days later <clears throat> we'll discuss all that a lot more when we do a battlefield tour All right, well, I'll cut this back on if I see anything else cool. Well, actually, I was wondering what this sign was down here. It says, improvements made by friends of Kings Mountain State Park. So maybe that's who I need to get in touch with about the uh, cemetery. Well, this is cool. I like, I like creeks and stuff. Cool. Got washed out pretty good in them big storms we had. Yeah, I like this trail. This would be nice to take a horse on. A lot of, a lot of nice stuff to look at. I hope the wind's not making a lot of noise on the microphone because it, it's picking up pretty good every once in a while.
You want to hear that woodpecker? There he is, he's way up there. They are noisy. It's a pileated woodpecker. That's what that is. Basically, it looks like Woody Woodpecker. Got the pointy red head. Black body with white on the wings. It's actually the largest um, North American woodpecker. <clears throat> because they, I'm pretty sure the ivory build is extinct now. Although there's some who believe they still exist. I think it'd be cool if they did, but they're they're pretty huge. And that's a lot of mud. Okay, let's go this way. Let's try it over here. Yeah, that's a little better. That's what you call a widow maker right there. Good windstorm comes through, that stuff is coming right down. through here right quick. Sorry, that's weird. The ground's like really wet right there. So something, I'd say something just urinated there. Just, I don't know. There's nobody else at the equestrian thing parked so there's no horses out here so deer who knows another human out here I don't know why would you pee on the trail some more Maybe something marking its territory. Maybe something that uh, it's got teeth and claws. I don't know. Kind of glad I'm packing some heat. I don't know what this is. Uh oh, you know what that means. Oh, I see some more over there home site maybe some of y'all can identify that wait a minute I know what that is hang on that's a uh, oh sorry I do I know what that is? Yeah. It's a cowling and a win window framed with Model T. Or something similar. That's exactly what that is. Well, that's cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So, you got Model T part. You got daffodils. You got a lot more daffodils. Back over there. I don't know if y'all can see those. And if Aqua Chigger and the other metal detectors have taught me anything, they said this means home site. Because these are not generally naturally growing out in the woods. You find them when you're out in the woods hunting or whatever. 
people planted those. They were cheap and they were pretty. And there's an old rusty barrel. Well, this is cool. This is really cool. <laughs> Have to bring my the goober out here and see if she can tell me what that is. I'll put that back the way it was when I come back through. Well, that's cool. If I find anything else cool, um, hey, that's a lot of mud. I will definitely cut the camera back on. You know what? Let's uh, let's just walk up through here for a second. You know me. I like to go off trail. Oh yeah, I see some more barrels. Some old cans. Yeah, this stuff has been here for quite a while. Aha! See the big indentation in the ground? What do y'all think? Cellar hole? Yes, it is. Very nice old bucket. Ta-da! This is actually my first old home site find. Had some nice trees out here. Got the daffodils. Might have another one over there. A few rocks here and there. Oh, I would love to metal detect out here, but again, that's a felony. This is a state park. Can't do that stuff. I mean, I could go through a bunch of trouble trying to get permission. Now, actually. This would be a nice place. Look how flat this is. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh yeah. I have to bring the goober out here definitely. So anyway guys. Always, always be looking when you're out in the woods hunting and you're, when you're just exploring. Keep your eyes out for things like that. That'll take you right to where people live. This is just like what I see in watching all these other guys do metal detecting. They'll find a big old cellar hole. I mean, you gotta think this is probably a couple hundred years old or so when the house was originally built. And it's sunk in some over time, the erosion. At one time it was a nice square hole. Um, there would have been a chimney at one end, which I don't see a chimney pile, but I do see this big old rock right there in the middle. Sorry about that, I turned it off. And a bunch of other stones. And probably right under all this top layer of dirt, I bet there's a whole lot more. 
So that was really cool, guys. Hope y'all excited about that like I am. There's some more tin over here. Well, so that kind of, okay. So we've got the graveyard. We're not super far from that. And we found evidence of a home site. Now I'm gonna have to go back and consult my maps because um, okay, that's the Model A part, Model T part. I wasn't even there. Gotta get around all these thorns. Get back on the trail. Well, that's cool because, uh, wow, sorry guys, hit a branch and just, just dropped, <laughs> that dropped my phone right there. All right, get out of here, back on the trail. Oh, well, that was really cool. The question is, if you had a car back then, they would have had to have made a road over to the gravel road. So I'll definitely have to look into that too. I'm going to turn this off right quick and I'm going to pull up my google map and try and kind of get a bearing so i know where to look on my exactly where to look on my old map so we'll be right back okay well just spooked out some white tail but the reason i was climbing up here this may very well Yes, it is. This is an old road. Which would be how you get to that home site. That's what I was wondering. Excuse me. Um, that's what I was wondering is where's the road to get them back here? This is it. This is it right here. You see the one tire mark is actually kind of another you can't really see it good anyway i spooked the deer out right up there and he ran on up that way i just saw his white tail and heard him crashing through the underbrush so let me uh do the same thing i did earlier i'm gonna take a screenshot on the map so I can look at this figure out where I am um, see if there's actually a road documented all right I'll be right back all right I'm going to show you guys I'm going to show y'all what I was looking at it made me walk up there to where I thought was that road bed okay the uh, home site's back in that direction and as I was looking Everything running through here. I don't know if it's hard for y'all to see. It's like straight line, slightly elevated. So I just walked up there and it does appear to be old wagon and old early vehicle tire tracks. Um, again, if any of y'all know exactly which uh car that cowling and windshield frame came for from let me know i mean i just said model t but could have been an early chevy or buick oldsmobile a lot of their vehicles look very similar early 20s <clears throat> but yeah that's the kind of stuff 
I like to keep my eyes open for when I'm out in the woods and on hiking trails and things of that nature. Because you never know what you're going to find. You're going to find a lot of cool history. Um, anyway, another thing I would suggest, especially walking through ground like this, keep your eyes open because there's been a couple times I've about stepped in a, well, like this, rotted out hole from where a tree used to be. That's a good way to snap an ankle. And considering I was off trail, and really nobody knows I'm out here, which I'm going to start remedying that pretty soon. But if you do go out and you're alone, obviously going off trail is not smart. But I never have been accused of being smart, so I like exploring and looking for cool things. But... Definitely gonna have to. Hang on, let me cut this off. Sorry about that. I had to kind of cut off in mid sentence. Um, I looked up and they were like two horse riders coming over the hill, and I really kind of feel stupid when I'm talking to my phone like this. Especially when you're out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, I'm sure I talk to myself. We all do. If you want an intelligent conversation, sometimes that's all you can do. But I don't know. There's just something about that's the part of vlogging or whatever you want to call this that I haven't gotten 100% used to. But anyway. They were nice. We chatted for a second. I told them it was pretty muddy. Be careful. But now I'm starting to <laughs> the muddy uphill climb. So this is fun. Keep my eyes open for fresh horse apples now. Anyway. I think we're about to, excuse me, it's getting hot out here, ready to shed this flannel. Um, I think we're about to the end of this one. Um, appreciate y'all watching videos and I'll come back out here and bring the goober I'll definitely make another one you know just kind of a short one hopefully but I'm trying to not make these videos so daggum long Sometimes I don't realize it, but I get home and I start going through it, and I realize that I've got, you know, an hour and a half of video, and little five and five minute, two minute, 12 minute segments, whatever. So, I'm trying to, gonna, I'm gonna try and keep them down to like, 25 minutes total because I don't like watching videos much longer than that I get bored of them so anyway here's the wonky tree again and I'll catch y'all on the next one I don't know I'm off this week so maybe I'll make another one depends on the weather maybe we'll go metal detecting who knows but I'm out of breath. I gotta lose this flannel and drink some water. 
but my truck's right over there. So, thanks for watching my videos. I enjoy making them. Thanks for watching Carolina's Home. Later.